Formnex 2025, and we're at the Prusa booth with what many online have said is the winner of Formnext, the index-powered Core One. Hey, Joe. Pleasure. Good to see you, Hello, man. Hello, everyone. This is incredible. The Core One, obviously, your foray into the Core XY machines, very popular, high print quality. I like mine. Now, though, eight heads. I am super excited. You know, we've been we've been doing the multi-material, multi-color for nine years now. You know, we yeah. started with MMU One. It's great. Oh, I'm very familiar. Yeah. It's still great to see the tech around. You know, and we slowly got it more efficient, faster. You know, with the MMU3, we've got it, you know, down to 45, 50 seconds for a, ch for a change. It's below, pretty quick, yeah. Below, it's pretty quick. below a minute. With the XL, we pushed it even even further, you know, to sub, sub 10 seconds. Yeah. Going from MMU3 to XL, it was many through one, and XL is many through many. Yes. And now we have more many. <laughs> more many. You have eight tools. Yeah. Uh, so this is the Bontech Index system. Yes. And you is. launched this with Bontech, correct? Yes. This is a huge cooperation. I'm super excited because two European companies are joining, joining forces. We've uh, been working together because we use their uh, original CHD uh, technology. Oh, yeah. That, or, no, I, I high, do like that. Yeah, that high materials. Well. You know, I absolutely love it because you can print fast with the materials you have experience. You, know, you don't have to have any special modified materials for fast printing, so that's amazing. And now, this is not just one part. This is fully, fully integrated together, firmware, electronics, everything. Our teams are working on it together. That's great. You know, there's no other way. We call these tools passive because they do not have active electronics on the Excel. They are active all the, right. t all the time. It can be a little bit faster, but it is more complex and more expensive and also takes a little bit more space. We, we could do like three active nozzles uh, or three active tools if we would do, do it this, this way. But to having eight full tools in this footprint is un unheard of. That's unbelievable. That's really a testament to what the Bontech team has with the index being able to have so many tools within a smaller footprint, which is perfect for this machine. Yes. And my worry was, because I, I had echoes of this, I remember when you tweeted out that kind of teaser photo, that was kind of fun to see, and it didn't show all eight. I remember that. I was like, okay, the, they are going to figure out that there's eight tools in roughly 40 minutes. Did anybody figure it out? Like two people, but over, over the weeks. So I was super excited that, right. that we could like show the full, full set of tools. And so, but this though, I wanna, I wanna kinda, let's take this off first to kinda yes. show people what's under there. Because having to manage five spools on the XL, I know, put, you know you put them on the side, people have boxes underneath. When I saw eight, I was like, uh, spool management is gonna be an issue, but you've really taken up, I think, what, what I would consider to be the minimal space possible. Yes, uh, we, we thought about this really, really quite a lot, how to make this efficient, because you know, some very complex system could add you know, at least the amount the, of the, the cost of the system of by course, itself, yeah. right? And we've had this in the works for a year and a half, the super optimized uh, universal storage system dry boxes, they can stack. The idea is that once you have the filament, you check if it's dry, if not, you dry it and you put it in this, and until you finish this pool, it stays there. So, That's great. So we integrated this and it makes it, it's perfect match. Absolutely, I like I like how they attach. It feels like, it feels rigid. It feels purposeful. It feels like it was built this way. Whereas I know on the XL, I mean, I love what I do with it, but I know those spools on the side, yes. little added weight, little added width. This feels more purposeful in nature. Yes, and of course uh, the spool holders uh, for this uh, for this storage system is coming to XL too. I, I, but once we start shipping them quite soon. You can download and reprint the spool, spool holders and you can oh, really? use it on the Excel, yes. Oh, pretty sweet, huh? We've made sure that it's compatible with everything, uh, even, with, even with the Mark IVs. Yeah, I have a Mark few Mark IVs, so I yeah. could actually put these on my Mark IVs. Yeah, we, we are also working if we can get the price down a little bit more on these. Oh, that would be great. Uh, with this, the core one, I know within this space you've got your eight tools. Uh, at the breakfast announcement, I think I remember hearing coming for the core one L, is that correct? Yes. 
we are now we are now taking advantage of the common design language as we as we made the exoskeleton design we can you know, make it smaller or larger and we it also makes the the add-ons or upgrades much easier to move from one machine to another yeah. so we do not expect any anything which would prevent us to do at least 10 but 10? okay 12 but maybe don't push it we will do Eight by default, and you can add the separate uh, tool hats if you are crazy enough. Oh, there you go. Well, you know, I want to talk about real quick. You mentioned a common design language, and also there was the Core One Plus announced, which is a printable part and a back port to the original Core One. Correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We took the the two best creature comfort upgrades, and where we could make it easy easy to upgrade and very efficient to give the most money, uh, most value for the, for the buck. And that is the automatic grill. Right, the auto grill, right? And an easier, uh, the switch to, for easier load. Of oh, the, on the side. Uh, for the, for the oh, TPU. Oh, perfect. So the upgrade, I think, is 10 euros, or 10, it will be roughly the same in dollars, but it's fully, it's fully printable. That's great. Yeah. Uh, I know we're running short on time, you got a lot of stuff to do, but I've got one more question, because the Founders Edition for the Index Core One, that kit, was selling on the Bontech website, and there was a thousand available, I think, and those sold out. By the time I went to the website, it said minus one were available. I like it sold out really quick. And so, if we're talking about this machine, this kit, and what's being offered in the future, eventually this will be on the Prusa website. Will it ever be a full machine, or will it always be a kit? So we are starting. We are starting as an upgrade kit. Because we have uh, a lot of core ones out there. Yes, you do. And we don't want to force people who want to join this amazing tech, uh, start with this amazing technology, that we don't want to make them buy a new printer. But as soon as possible, we will start to have uh, fully assembled versions. Okay. And it starts with, with the core, core, core 1L. I have so much to talk about. Why don't you? Uh, get some more in-depth questions and we can do a follow-up video and I can get some engineers so we can talk more about the design decisions. That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we'll have better voices and we'll be better hydrated. Yes, and uh, <laughs> I am running on films now. I'm pretty tired. Well, all right, so you're gonna enjoy the rest of the forum next. I'm gonna close this out. Thanks for watching. If you made this why you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Print eight things. And as always, high five. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Ooh, <laughs> that was, that was good, dude. That was good, dude. Good job. Good job.